Hey Virgo, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let us see what the universe has for you. Virgo. Two cards. All right, my card cards are falling apart. Eight of Pentacles. What you working on? You're watching your money. <clears throat> Boy, look at that. The Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. Ooh, the Hierophant and the Justice. This is karma. It's almost like you're trying to fight and hold somebody back who's being very aggressive with you. And aggressive, I just mean they could be in your ear. They could be banging down your phone. They could be trying to get at you. But Virgo, you're like, no. Um, a lot of you guys are putting your head down. You're doing what you have to do when it comes to work. Um, a lot of you guys, too, feels like, yeah, it's time to kind of put relationships on on hold. But I really do feel like um, for a lot of you guys, you should be listening to your intuition and that universal guidance. They're also saying something, too, about a court case. Because I feel like with this court case, you're going to have to, it could be probation. That's weird. That's weird. Is that's not going to resonate. I hope that doesn't resonate with a lot of you. But for some of you, you could actually have probation as a result of a court case. This could be a domestic violence um, case as well. Some of you guys, you're going to have to, yeah, you may have to take an anger management class. Don't ask Virgo. I mean, I'm just getting the messages as they come. Remember, these are general readings, and I may get multiple messages from multiple Virgos. <clears throat> I try to put them all together with one storyline, but sometimes they do come out um, separately. Yeah, a lot of you guys are working on doing things that you love and doing things that fulfill your heart. A lot of you guys literally are working on your heart. It's like, what you doing in there, heart? With the Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands, whatever the situation is with this Leo, keeping them at bay, pushing them back is the right thing to do. It's almost like in order to get to your happily ever after, eliminating whomever this Leo is, is the right thing to do. Now, here's the thing. That's bugging you, Okay. Because for a lot of you guys, that Ten of Swords represents, you know, kind of feeling overwhelmed, defeated, bottomed out, like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? This is you kind of overanalyzing, like, no, it's hard. Is this really my person? I mean, the red flag is not really red. It's like a bright pink. Virgo, justice card, get rid of this Leo, whomever this is. Could it be a Libra as well, right? But I feel like this is you and this is your energy again mentally trying to ward off whomever is sexually specifically sexually coming at you not only that but you're also fighting a feeling right a lot of you guys feel drawn to this person you're very attracted to this person you know damn well this person ain't no good for you but it's like damn alex she look good or he look good mm, 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 virgo i know I've been there and I'm like, you know what? Tell your story walking. <laughs> you got ten of swords and a ten of cups. You're in your head, but you got to remember, baby, keep your eyes on the prize, Virgo. That's what you want. You want your happily ever after. And you're wanting to know if this Leo is your happily ever after. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you want this Leo to be your happily ever after. But look at the next couple of cards, right? You got the devil card here. Which kind of says, yeah, unhealthy attachments, addictions, codependencies, obsessiveness. You're thinking about this person over time and angels are saying, <laughs> they're showing me the, the image of Cinderella, one of her godmothers, where she tries to put her big ass foot in that small shoe. You're trying to fit this king of wands into your happily ever after picture. But it's almost like every time you do it, his freaking corn or his baby toe or his big toe is just not fitting. Virgo, that's the universe saying to you, stop. 
<laughs> okay? And again, for a lot of you, you know you need to walk away, but you don't want to. It's like, why, Alex? Why does it have to be the devil? I don't know, Virgo. It, it showed up. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, girl, this is a good devil. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know you need to, um, not only that, but this person is draining you. They're sucking you dry. It's almost like, you know, you you start out or you started out with this person. Angels are saying, too, this person could also be draining you financially or making you late to work or getting you written up at Virgo, if you don't get rid of this person quick, fast, and in a hurry, and there's your universal guidance, right? But that page of wands, I feel like, is your energy, Virgo, is saying, but do I have to? Why, Alex? Why? Why? Why do I have to? <laughs> hey, that page of wands is trying to hold on. But angels are also saying to me, too, this king of wands, he's being, he or she, because it could be a female, is being hella persistent, okay? But I feel like also instinctually, your gut is telling you, no, no, no. <laughs> like Dikembe Mutombo in a Geico commercial. No, 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 not today. All right, so let us see what additional um, uh, advice the universe has for you. We have Libra here for me as a reader. This is also Scorpio. So a lot of you guys, Cutting this person off is going to help you move more towards your goal. You ain't going to like it. It's going to be hard for you to walk away, but cutting this person off is the right thing to do. Um, so you have Libra and Scorpio. You have Leo. You have Capricorn here, Libra, and Taurus. These are the Oracle of the Seven Energies. A beautiful su subscriber of mine bought these for me for my birthday. So I am using them for the first time for beautiful Virgo. So let us see what the Oracle of the Seven Energies has for you, Virgo. Wish upon a star. Look at how beautiful that is. I just want to hold that up. Right? That's like the baby, like a little kid. What did you want when you were younger? Get back to that. That's, what's, that's what you're actually doing here, right? You're going back into your beautiful, innocent, unconditional heart, love energy. And again, universally speaking, that ain't, uh, the devil is sitting right there. Okay. So make sure that when you, when you, rebuild yourself you don't let nobody come in and drain you right not only that but they start as the king of wands here but they end as the page of wands which means they ain't contributing a whole lot outside of sex come on virgo let's keep it funky okay let's keep it armpit funky all right oh two cards awakening genius Ooh, look at how beautiful these cards are are awakening genius that is your deep it's an indian baby that is your deep inner inner primal voice inside of you saying virgo you know you deserve better the next one body and soul that's you baby that's what you need to be taken care of that's that's what this is you're working on it you're building yourself up you're getting your heart back together don't let no halfway person come in and drain you again, Virgo. D divine matrix, connected, connectedness, right? Um, things kind of coming together, universal order. Um, angels are also saying to me too here with that devil, I feel like if this is not a physical person, this could be an aspect of yourself. On the fool's journey, remember when he gets to the devil, the devil is basically that that person inside of him that's bitter, that's angry, that's annoyed with all of the heartbreak and all of the traumas that the fool had to endure up until this point on his journey. And at this point, he had to take a deep look within and figure out, okay, what is it inside of me that's causing these outside events? So the devil is always the devil within that you are attracting outside of you 
Okay. Not only that, this King of Wands, you know, the devil, the King of Wands is not the devil. Okay. But the King of Wands is very aggressive. The King of Wands is pigheaded, stubborn, just all of the negatives, right? And I feel like whomever this King of Wands is, is either bringing out the devil in you or they have the devil in them that they need to get out and release as well. And Virgo, your heart ain't worth that, baby. Your heart is worth gold, sunshines, unicorns, and puppy dogs, okay? Again, be careful about the person you're giving your energy to. Um, who else? I'm going to do Moonology for you, Virgo. And then we'll close it out. Um, of course, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, please click the, click the schedule, reading, schedule a reading link on the About page on my channel. All right, Moonology, what you got for Virgo? Time, take time to breathe out. Yeah, whatever it is that you're working on, getting yourself back over, getting yourself back together after releasing this devil, go ahead and take care of you, Virgo. Please, por favor. What do you need to release? The King of Wands <laughs> and the devil. Hold your vision. That is wishing upon a star. That is your, your true happily ever after, your true prince, your true princess, the emperor, the empress, the kings, the, the, the queens of the tarot, and not the king of wands. Excuse me again. It's not necessarily that it's the king of wands. It's the king of wands in this devil energy. Boy, look at the bigger, bigger picture. This is the bigger picture right here. You're happily ever after. This is crazy because angels just brought up the whole Sesame Street. Remember, all right, I'm dating myself. Remember Sesame Street when it was like, which one of these things don't belong? I feel like with everything that you want, with everything that you are, with how your heart is set up, the way your bank account is set up emotionally, this person is not fitting in, Virgo. So it's time to, what do they say? Um, discard it. It's time to, to, to release them back into the wild. All right, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. This was an amazing reading. If it does resonate, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, if you're interested in a personal reading, contact details are in the about section of my channel. And again, you can click on the schedule a reading link. Love you, Virgo. Bye.